Mommy and Daddy are fighting again. Daddy's drinking. I just got home a few minutes ago. I'm not you drunk. came in the door drunk. I'll be drunk. I'm scared. I don't like it when they fight. What's going on here? <laughs> what about this one? Mommy took her pills. I see the blue lights in the window. Well, here we go. You happy now? Kids can't see this again. This can't happen again. This can't happen again. I don't want to get in trouble. What are you laughing about? This is serious. <laughs> what is this, the third time now? You're going to take one of us away. This is not good. He's going to take one look at you and you're going to be gone. I am not Sheriff's office on Deputy Green. Yeah, everything's fine. We're Who else is in the house? Um, my my kids and my husband. Okay, where's he at? Um, he's he's in the back. I mean, we're fine. Everything's fine. We're, yeah, okay. We're, we're we need good. to talk to him. We're good. Let's all. Uh, we need to make sure he's not. Have you under the influence of any drugs or alcohol no. tonight? No, sir. I'm seeing a lot of alcohol uh, and pill bottles. Uh, I mean, just, we were just, I was just cleaning out the cupboards. So what kind of Adrian. medication have you taken? Because all it, these just, are opiate-based drugs. Uh, are you addicted to these pills? No, sir. Just, but, uh, I told you. See what you've done? done? Hey, See what sir, you've done now? Sir, hey, sir, hey, sir, hey, sir, hey, sir, hey, sir, hey, 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 Right now, we need to talk about this because you've got the chance of going to jail yourself if I don't find a prescription with your name on it. I did. You happy I now? did have about that. You happy now? Let's go. Hey, where are you taking See what you've done? Why? See what, what you've done? We... You need to stay in here. Stay in here. I hope Daddy doesn't have to leave. It was prescribed for pain. Okay. And I'm just, I'm still trying to, try, trying to get off of them. All right, man, go ahead and turn around and place your hand behind your back. What? I'm not going to ask you twice, man. Why, you, why, why, why am I? Why? Turn around and put your hand behind your back. Don't move, don't struggle, don't resist. Are you taking mommy too? What we've just seen here is not normal. But for these children, it is everyday life. This wasn't the first time they were scared. The police have come to this door many times. There was no food in the house. The father was noticeably drunk and abusive. And the mother was addicted to opiates. The officers decided to take these children and place them into emergency protective custody. A merits hearing in front of a judge took place three days later. The judge determined the children were at significant risk living with their parents. The parents were never able to gain custody of their children again. Social services placed the children in separate homes as there are never enough available. The girls were placed together and the youngest was placed by himself. He kept asking, when can I see my sisters? No, no. He wanted to write a letter to tell them how much he missed them. The foster mom helped him write the letter. He was excited to mail it. And the sisters were so happy and wrote back. When children can't see their siblings, it causes problems. Their sense of connection is severed. Their grades drop. They feel isolated and life becomes more difficult. The social workers identified a program called Sibling that would help the children arrange regular visits with each other. He couldn't wait to see his sisters. 
He was so excited. A little afraid. And very nervous. We have the opportunity to give these children the network and tools to live better lives. Siblink is the solution to restore the bond between brothers and sisters.